Let us now take the first model from this topic of number series where we are going to discuss all the trivial series which can be asked in the exams. Now generally when a series is trivial the answer can be obtained within no time. Let us have a look at some of the examples and understand what is the logic behind them. As you can see here the first example is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and question mark. So here we are supposed to find out what comes in place of the question mark. As you can observe this is a very simple series which is nothing but natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 all are natural numbers so obviously the next number which comes after 6 here has to be 7 so the answer for question number 1 here is 7 the second example here is 2 4 6 8 10 12 and question mark so again we are supposed to find out what comes in place of question mark as you can see here this is nothing but an even number series which consists of consecutive even numbers so the number which comes after 12 has to be the next even number which is nothing but 14. So the answer for question number 2 here is 14. The third example says 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 question mark. So again our job is to find out what comes in place of question mark. As you can observe these are all consecutive odd numbers. So the next consecutive odd number that we have after 11 is 13. So answer for question number 3 here is 13. Moving on to the next one, it is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So what comes after 24? I, I hope you all have got the idea. That's nothing but 28 in place of question mark. Why? Because these are all multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So the next one has to be 28. That is nothing but 4 into 1, 4 into 2, 4 into 3, 4 into 4, so on up to 4 into 8. Likewise, the given series may be multiples of any integer. Instead of 4, 8, 12, we may have 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on. So it's only that we should be able to understand that these are multiples of 4 and then find out the missing term. The fifth example here is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and then we have a question mark. Now can you tell me what comes in place of question mark here? I hope you all have got the answer. As you can observe, these are nothing but perfect squares of natural numbers starting from 1. For example, 1 here is nothing but 1 squared, 4 is 2 squared, 9 is 3 squared, 16 is 4 squared, 25 is 5 squared, 36 is 6 squared. So it is obvious that the next one has to be 7 squared. Why? Because that is the rhythm here. As I have already mentioned, we only need to understand the logic behind the series or the rhythm in that series. So as per the rhythm here, the next one has to be 7 squared, which is 49. So question mark should be replaced with 49. Likewise, if you observe example 6 here, the series is 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216. So what do you observe? These are all perfect cubes of natural numbers again. 1 is 1 cube, 8 is 2 cube, this is 3 cube, 4 cube, 5 cube and 216 is 6 cube. So it is obvious that the next one has to be 7 cube. 7 cube or that is nothing but 343. So question mark should be replaced with 343. And the last example in model 1 is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and question mark. Now what do you observe here in the series given in example 7? Try to understand the rhythm in the series. Try to understand the logic behind that. What do you observe? 2 and then we have 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. So what do you think should be the next one? Now if you observe, those who have got the right idea, they know that these are all consecutive prime numbers. 2 is the first prime number. Then we have 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and the next one here has to be the prime number which comes after 13. What comes after 13? 17. So question mark has to be replaced with 17. That is nothing but a series of prime numbers. So these are some of the examples from model number 1 where we have discussed various trivial series. And as you can see, the logic here is very simple to observe. So it's just about understanding the logic there and finding out the missing number. And as I've already mentioned, the other type of question that can be asked here is finding out the wrong number, where the series will be given and we are supposed to find out which of the numbers is wrong. For example, let's say the series is as follows 1, 4, 9, 16, 26 and 36. And we are supposed to find out which one of these numbers is wrong or what is the odd number here which does not fit into the series. Now again as I have mentioned earlier we have to identify the rhythm of the series and then understand which of these given numbers is wrong. 
So what do you observe in 1, 4, 9, 16, 26, 36? Which number do you think is wrong here? If you have got the idea, you clearly understand that 26 is the odd one out. Why? Because all the remaining numbers here are perfect squares. For example, this is 1 squared. The next one here is 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. So as per this series, the next number has to be 5 squared, which is 25. But the given number here is 26. Hence, we say that 26 is the wrong number. And that is the answer for this question. And 36 is nothing but again 6 squared. So 26 is the odd one out or 26 is the wrong number. So likewise, for all the remaining questions as well, the question can be asked in terms of finding out the wrong number. So there again, we need to understand the logic and find out which of the given numbers is wrong. So that is what is number series is all about. We have to understand what is the logic and get the answers. So the point to be understood here is, though all these examples show you trivial series, the same can be made complicated if we start from a larger number. Even in case of squares and cubes, we have seen that we started from 1 square, 1 cube and so on. But otherwise, if we start from 16 square or let's say 16 cube, the same logic will take more time for us to understand. So make sure that you think in all possible directions in that limited time to get the right answer. And as I've mentioned, it is all about getting the right idea at the right time. So the more you practice, the easier it becomes.